So let's have a look at Bbot. Now Bbot's the little B icon. I've just gone ahead um, and actually clicked on it already. So it's Paul Hamilton here, apps, um, iPads in schools. And we're looking at this Bbot. Now this is great for prep students, year one students. I'm not a big fan of, um, I guess, game-based learning, um, but I think this one is a good one in relation to uh, strategy, uh, teaching kids basic programming even skills and just thinking ahead and so forth. So basically what we do with Bbot here is we click on level one, let's go to level one and I'll click on start. And basically what we have to do is down the bottom right hand corner there you can see the little forward, left, right and back arrows. What we basically need to do is get the little Bbot onto the flower here. So what we need to do is do all our programming first, then we press go and see if we were right in our programming. So for this one it's forward one, so I press forward one and then I press go. And you can see there that that was really, really easy. Let's go to our menu, let's go to a harder one, let's go to about level five here and press start. Now you can see here this is a little bit more complicated. I'm going to press the forward arrow twice, one, two, then a left turn, then a forward one, two, three, then another left turn and then a forward two and then press go. One, two, left turn, two, three, sorry, left turn and I'm there. So let's have another go, a final go here. Let's go to a level three, for example. Press start and see what happens when we get it wrong. So let's say I do two forwards and then a right and then a two forwards and see what happens to the little B bot. So I press go. And you can see there that I've basically failed and I need to start again and I can hit the plus and it will let me um, attempt again and start again. So that's Bbot, a great little introduction, I guess, to programming. Terrific for your maths and science kids and developing that think those thinking ahead skills. Very similar to chess, but in a game sort of situation. As I said before, I'm not a big fan of um, game-based learning in the early years. I think we really need to get our younger students doing very rich, um, not complicated, but but I think we need to set the, the bar higher with our younger students and not just do the game-based learning, you know, the multiplication facts um, where the balloon-based and the little game things, they're great for students to be involved with, but I think our students, our younger students need to be involved in those rich iPad activities like taking photos and storytelling and all those things that we've talked about in other tutorials. However, this is a really good one I have found, introducing left and right turns, that basic uh, maths concepts of direction, and also a little bit of an introduction to um, programming skills at an early age, which I think is fantastic. Okay, Paul Hamilton here, iPads in schools signing off.